most Roblox devs fail. And let me tell you, it's not because the market's too competitive or because the platform's too hard. No, it's because they get in their own way. If you've ever wondered why so many devs quit before they make it big or how you can avoid becoming another statistic, stick around. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to break through and crush it as a Roblox developer. All right, first up, this is one of the biggest reasons why most Roblox developers never make it past their first project. This is tutorial hell. Watching lots of tutorials is like reading 100 recipes, but never setting foot in a kitchen. You're stacking knowledge, sure, but you're not building understanding. Knowledge is the facts you know, but understanding is having a mastery of the information. And that only happens when you do the thing. And don't just watch it get done by some someone else. Many developers, they make this mistake of watching a video on how to make a tycoon and they end up copying the code or just taking the free model from the description and putting it in their game. And at the end of it, they come out wondering why they don't know how to do things on their own in Roblox Studio because they might've been gaining knowledge, but they weren't building a true understanding of how to use Roblox Studio, how to script and how to apply that knowledge into other games that they create in the future. So here's the thing, stop binging, stop copying code and pick one tutorial on the fundamentals of the skill you want to master. Follow through, then make it your own. Stop watching tutorials and start experimenting. Break the code, fix it, repeat. That is how you actually learn. The only way to level up is by making stuff. And yes, failure is part of that process. Most devs never actually learn. They might know a lot of stuff, but they don't know how to apply it and make games of their own. Do not be like them. Learn the fundamentals of your skill, like building, scripting, modeling, GFX, UI design. Use a guide like mine, the easiest beginner guide to Roblox scripting. Master those fundamentals to build an understanding, and then use that in every game you create going forward. And then continue to build on that understanding over time. Trust me, work hard now, and your future self will thank you for it. All right, let's move on to another dream killer, dream game syndrome. You know this one, especially if you saw my other viral video called Called why most Roblox devs quit. This video was popular because this is something that happens to so many devs. I do not want you guys to fall into this trap as well. So if you're watching this, you probably know this one. You open Roblox Studio for the first time and you're like, I'm gonna build the next Pets Go right now. But with dragons and spaceships and open world map, chill. Big dreams are awesome. But let's be real, they're not how you start. When I started, I tried making these massive games like a giant open world simulator called Camping Simulator. I tried making a massive battle royale game, but these were before I, people I was working with were fully ready to make that happen. I didn't know how to script. I knew the basics of building, but I didn't know how to make truly amazing models. And most of all, I didn't know how to make a project get to the finish line. I didn't know how to lead a team and keep them organized properly. So yeah, those projects I just told you about didn't last long. Here's the thing. Building your dream game is like climbing Mount Everest. You don't just roll Roll out of bed and climb up the entire mountain. No, you train, you start small, then you start climbing taller and taller mountains until you finally one day climb Mount Everest, right? But you gotta start small, build a tycoon, an obby, finish it, then build something a little bit bigger. Step by step, you'll get there. But if you try to bench press 300 pounds on day one, you're just gonna crush yourself. Make simple games first and watch how your dev career transforms for the better. You'll build skill with more consistency. You'll get out more projects and feel a stronger sense of accomplishment. And if you monetize properly, you'll start building the funds needed to pay developers to make your dream game great when you finally do create it. Okay, this next one might sting a little. If you're waiting for motivation to get started in Roblox development, you're gonna fail. Motivation is a liar. It's like that friend who hypes you up to hit the gym, bails on leg day every time. One time, I wasn't feeling it. I didn't want to open Roblox Studio. I didn't want to work on my game, but I pushed through anyways. And guess what? Once I started, the motivation showed up. Once I saw those lines filling up my code editor, I started to feel great and I was able to continue and persist very easily from there. Funny how that works, right? So if you're watching this, I want you to know that the secret is not motivation, it's discipline. Successful devs show up even when they don't feel like it. They push through the boring parts, the frustrating bugs, and the moments where every Everything feels pointless.
and like pursuing development isn't the path they want to go down anymore. Because here's the truth. Momentum is created by action, not the other way around. So if you're sitting around stagnant, waiting for inspiration, stop. Too many devs are waiting for a surge of motivation to come out of the sky like a lightning bolt and strike them all of a sudden. You need to stop doing this. Just start. Even if you work for five minutes when you don't feel like it, you're building discipline. And if you do that with consistency, over time, you will win. Let's talk about what happens when things go wrong. Because I'm telling you right now, from years of experience, they will go wrong. A lot of devs hit a brick wall, and instead of trying to find a way to get around it, or maybe jump over it, they just stop. I don't have the funds for assets. I don't know how to script this mechanic. I can't figure out this bug. That's what they say. Before closing Roblox Studio forever, throwing their hands in the air, and giving up. Handing their dreams of Roblox development success to the next dev in line behind them who's willing to put in the work. Sound familiar? When you hit brick walls, in development, which you will. You need something we all have heard about called adaptability. When you hit obstacles, you need to get creative. No money for assets? Think of solutions. You can use free ones or learn Blender yourself. Can't script? Stop making excuses. Google it, watch a video, or ask for help on the Roblox Dev Forum. There are ways. Bug ruin in your game? Debug it. Or rework the feature entirely. The point that I'm teaching you here is that you have to be able to flow and adapt with every situation that you encounter. Think of every every roadblock, not as something that's gonna stop you from going forward, but as a challenge. Understand this, successful devs don't hit a brick wall and then just sit there staring at it, waiting for it to move out of the way for them. That's never gonna happen. They take responsibility and they climb over it, they dig under it, or they straight up grab some dynamite and blast through it. Be adaptable, be creative in every moment. Because in this space, creativity is not just about making cool games, it's about solving problems too. All right, so we've talked about a lot of different issues that Roblox developers run into when they're trying to make it to the top of Roblox development success. They come at it with ambition, with maybe even a lot of motivation, but they run into brick walls that cause most devs, 99% even, to quit. But I know you're wondering, how do you actually avoid these steps in reality? I need something concrete here. I got you. Let's break it down now. Step one, start small. If you're watching this, pick a simple project and no matter what, finish it. Even when it gets hard, even when you don't know what to do, push through and get it out there. It's not going to be perfect and that's okay. It may even be a good thing because do you realize that in every project you create, there's a lesson that you can use to make the next game you build better. Step two, focus on progress, not on perfection. I'm saying this to you right now. Your first game will not be amazing. And that's fine. It's a stepping stone to bigger and better projects down the road. Step three, build, break, and learn. Every project you complete, good or bad, teaches you something new. And believe me, these lessons stack up. So the secret to success isn't a single giant leap. It's a series of small, consistent steps. So if you're feeling stuck, overwhelmed, or unsure where to get started, just start. Build something, anything. That's all that matters. And keep going. Now you know why most Roblox devs fail and why if you use the information I've taught you in this video, you won't. You've got the tools, the mindset, and the game plan. So what are you waiting for? Go open Roblox Studio right now and start creating. And hey, if you found this video helpful, hit subscribe and stick around because I don't want you to miss any of the great content I post on this channel. You need these game dev secrets that I'm going to be sharing going forward. Click the video on screen now to learn even more secrets that will help you in your journey to Roblox development success. See you there.